Bustiny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love this. Look at you. Look at how he is switched there, is up. Is there Ernie here, by the way? Yeah, I love how he switched up. He can pop in, but not whatever it is. So, <laughs> what? What do you want to know about Steiny? The guy, two years. Uh, let me tell you the time I met Steiny. Tell us. Okay. The this time Bob met Ernie met Steiny. By the way, right now, Steiny is Holy shit, rocking bro. out gold chains. And shout out Steve will do it LLC. Shout out Steve will do it LLC for taking that cocksucker off my hands. Yeah. And uh, yeah, walking gold chains or whatever. That wasn't in the Mentory camp. No, no, yeah. None of that shit. So happened. how'd you meet him? So Brian Zurif, producer, created Tiger, filled a match, whatever. I was looking for a guy I needed. I was starting to grow a little bit. I needed a right hand guy. Yeah. Because I'm a little bit ADHD. I can't control. I needed somebody. Yeah. So I had uh, interviews at Gold Cafe. So I had some different people come in. And so Aaron was one of them. You never met him prior to this. Never met him okay. prior to that. He was referred to by BZ. Okay. So Aaron. BZ. Wa uh, BZ, Brian Zurif. Okay. Walks in. Like yeah, that sounds like that's a little, that's no, no, no. This is pre chains. That's a Steiny walk in yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, but more of like big pussy. Like, yeah, yeah. Like at the time. Hey, hey, man, how you doing? Nice to meet you, Bob. Nice to meet you. Even more hesitant. Like just pussy. Okay. So I'm like, I'm like, take a seat. Are you okay? Do you need something? Take a seat. So I sit down. Then we start talking. I'm like, so here's the deal. This is my life. This is what I got going on. But what the what's your deal? Like, uh, I need somebody 24 seven around the clock to do whatever the fuck I need. Yeah, there's no room for error. Just, you know, uh, blah, blah, blah. And he's just like, oh, I started talking. And then finally, he said, you know, I used to run an underground poker game. And that's where I was like, eh, all right, interesting. I like shark. I like street hustlers. And so we started talking. Boom, boom. He leaves. I love like I like that dude. I call him. What did you like about him? I liked his what you see now you saw glimpses of it his dad i mean it runs in the bloodline his dad's one of the best defense attorneys in the world right he's got that fucking aaron's smart aaron's very crafty very, aaron's very, very good but listen i'll tell you what the motherfucker went through mentory camp and fucking learned a lot so don't let him fucking ever tell you differently but he uh i called that night his first mission was at 2 a.m i said you got to get me an adderall right now you got 15 minutes find one <laughs> and he came through Really? And so then I just kind of was just like, I think I don't really, I have a terrible memory. I think I'm the youngest person with Alzheimer's, by the way. How but many years ago was this? I don't remember. <laughs> Two, three. I don't remember. Life's a fucking blur. Yeah. And so, uh, but he started working for me and I had that motherfucker. Like you see him with 42 Doug now. You see him with whatever. If Aaron like missed a fucking phone call, if he missed a fucking thing, he would be scrubbing literally my floors with a fucking toothbrush. He doesn't do that now. He misses a lot of stuff. No, he's, he's driving around Lambos because Steve fucking spoils the fucking kid. Yeah. But Aaron's done a good job. He's built himself up. He's doing a good job in the fucking podcast, too. Aaron's yeah. a good addition in the podcast. But Aaron's earned his keep. Aaron was, a, Aaron was a straight hustler who never, like, just always up, always down, has the mind. Yeah. Like Aaron's going to fucking crush it in life. He's, but he's a rat. He's I think I was the first person who gave him a chance on the internet, though. Yeah, I had nothing to do with that shit. Like on, on the whole social thing, like putting him on and then him be, everyone being like, wait, this dude's really fucking funny because we put him in our videos first. And then he was like, now he's start now. He's like all over this shit. Yeah. I mean, he's done a good little job of uh, finagling, weaseling his way. Yeah, in. that's you know why we always give him the jokes. He's like, he's just going to someday he's going to dip on Steve and have like a fucking Steiny will do it. But you'd be so, fine. Which, you, uh, you know, I would I, I see would be pissed i think i'd be pissed he, he he takes care of steve yeah he takes care. he's there he does he takes care of steve like we had him we were like yo we need you to uh, uh take rick ross we need you now he's like steve my priority then he stole brett my guy and fucking put him on to steve's shit and i'm just like wait brett brett works over there now nah brett works for me so brett's my 24 brett's seen some shit yeah